guys and welcome back to a new video. So in today's video, I'm going to be making some protein donuts. I have filmed this recipe. Well, actually I do have an old donut recipe on my channel. If you want to check it out, I'll link it up in the top right corner, but I wanted to make a protein powder version. So using more protein powder and I have filmed this recipe before, but I only made four donuts and I was like, oh, I want to show you a proper recipe when I've got like a full tray of donuts. And I was talking to Christian last night. I was asking him what he was feeling and he was like, mm, I don't really mind just any kind of donut, but he wanted a glaze. And I've seen people make lemon glazes before and I really wanted to try that. So I'm going to try and make a lemon glazed donut today. I am very excited. I'm going to go and scavenge for some lemons now because a lot of the houses around where I live um, have loads of lemons that they're just leaving outside their front of their garden. So I'm going to go look for some lemons and then we'll make some lemon protein baked donuts. Just love healthy treats in this household. They go down so fast. Within two days, they're all gone without doubt every time. Anyway, enough chat. Let's get straight into this recipe video. I hope you enjoy it. If you do, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below what recipe you want to see next, what high-protein plant-based version of a recipe you want me to try out. I am really keen on baked oats at the moment, if you haven't realized. Um, but I recently got a waffle iron and I'm experimenting with some waffle recipes at the moment. So if you want to see a waffle recipe, let me know. Or if you have any other recipe ideas that you want to see, let me know. Or any other video ideas, or anything like that. Okay. I'm really just blabbering on today. Let's get into it. I'll see you guys on the other side. Bye. streets <laughs> so I'm going to be using those in this recipe if not all of them um, I did just want some extra ones for cooking and stuff but let's get straight into the recipe and crack on with it okay time to make the donuts so first up we have got some soy milk here so I have one cup which is about 250 mils of soy milk this is just plain soy milk you could use a different type of milk but I decided to go for soy milk because it has a slightly higher protein content and to that I'm adding one lemon juiced so juicing both halves of the lemon straight into the milk and what this does is it curdles the milk slightly and gives it more of a buttermilk type texture which when combined with all of the rest of the ingredients makes the donuts really light and fluffy which is what we're going for here we don't want a dense dodgy donut i've been there done that it's not as fun so um, we are using this kind of buttermilk type recipe today to create these beautiful light and fluffy donuts so i've just stirred that in a little bit and then leave that to the side to rest for about five minutes and so it curdles a little bit more and gets a bit thicker now we're making a little chia egg so it's just one tablespoon of chia seeds mixed with two tablespoons of water and again you just want to stir that and then leave that to the side for a few minutes to thicken up Okay, now we're gonna go on to our dry ingredients while that stuff is thickening up to the side. So I've got some flour, some protein powder, a little bit of cornstarch or corn flour, as well as some baking powder and salt. So you wanna stir that all together. I'm also adding in some sugar here. This is actually a stevia based sugar. So it's made with stevia instead of sugar. And what that does is it lowers the calories a lot, um, but also reduces you know, my intake of refined sugar. So I try to not have too much sugar. I mean, I also don't like having too much sweetener, but in this kind of a dish, it's kind of needed. It needs to have that sweet kick. You could try this with maple syrup, um, but you might just have to add in a little bit less soy milk 
then because it will be a bit more runny. Um, now we are going in with some lemon zest. So I've got one full lemon zested into that to give it a beautiful flavor. And that is it for the dry ingredients. Now it's time to go back to our wet ingredients. Here is our slightly curdled milk. I'm just gonna put the chia seed egg into that. So make sure you get all of the chia egg. It should be kind of, mm, what's the word, gel-like now. Um, and then you put that all in as well as two tablespoons of a neutral flavored oil. So I'm using this hemp and olive oil blend that I got sent from Mount Elephant, which is really, really good. Um, just stir that all through and that's it for our wet ingredients. So you wanna add that into our dry mixture, stir it all around and see what texture you get because based on your protein powder and you know if you're not even using protein powder, so there is the option to just use extra flour instead of protein powder. So depending on your protein powder, on the type of flour you use, your batter might have a slightly different texture, um, but I, really highly recommend tasting it and checking it before you scoop it into your donut pan. So I tasted it here and I realized that it wasn't quite sweet enough and it wasn't quite lemony enough. So I added in some more lemon juice as well as some more of that stevia. And then this is what the texture was looking like. Pretty good, I think. It has a nice kind of fluffy texture to it and yeah. Just really good. Here's my donut pan. I have sprayed it with some olive oil just to make sure that it's gonna be a bit easier to get the donuts out at the end. But I did read a tip online only after making these that you should put a little bit of flour into the donut pan as well. And that apparently makes it come out a lot easier. So I would highly recommend that because they are a little bit tricky to get out of the donut pan, um, especially if you don't have that flour on there. So pro tip, Add some flour in after you've sprayed your oil or greased it um, because that will make them a little bit easier to get out. But I still was able to get them out. It was just a bit of a, a bit of a trick to do. Anyway, here are all my donuts in there. There's quite a bit of mixture in there. You don't need quite as much. You could actually probably make about seven or eight donuts from this recipe, but I like big donuts. So I made six big ones and I put that in the oven for 12 to 15 minutes at 180 degrees Celsius. So now onto the icing. Whilst you are letting your donuts cool, it is time to make the icing. So I've just got one cup of this powdered sugar. I'm using again, a sugar replacement. This one's erythritol and monk fruit. Um, that's what makes this little powdered sugar alternative, but you could definitely use just regular sugar. I just honestly didn't have any at home. I just hardly ever buy sugar, so I didn't have any on hand. So this is what I use today. And then I mix that with one and a half lemons. So I added in one lemon and it wasn't quite thin enough. So then I added in another half of the lemon and then it was a little bit too thin as you'll see in a second. So I ended up adding in a little bit more powdered sugar, but I would say one large lemon or one and a half small lemons would be probably enough. But again, I just like to taste it, check it, you know, everyone's lemons are going to be a different size so really you have to use your own judgment um but as you can see here this just did look a little bit too thick so i've added in probably about one to two tablespoons more of the powdered sugar stirred that through and it was a perfect texture nice and thick but not too thick and still drippable so i could drizzle it over the donuts okay time to add in some lemon zest this just gives it a little bit of a, you know, bit of a pizzazz, bit of a zing, <laughs> which is really, really tasty. Um, so yeah, just adding in one whole lemon zest here. So in total, this recipe has two lemon zested and three lemon juice. Three, I think three. Yeah, about three juice lemons. Three juice lemons, two lemon zests. That's it. All right, so now time to take the donuts out of the pan. As you can see here, I'm using a spoon to kind of like um, get the edges off the pan and then I flipped it out. So you wanna make sure you have let your donuts cool down a little bit, otherwise you'll break them when you're getting them out. So make sure they've cooled down enough that you're actually able to touch the pan and not get burnt. So I would say at least five minutes um, cooling before you try to get them out of the pan. And then it is time to put on the icing. So because I put so much mixture into my donuts, they actually ended up closing on the top side. So that meant that they were kind of like bundt cakes in a way, like they had the little 
hole in the middle. And what I decided to do was just fill up the little hole with extra icing because why not? Love it. And I just wanted to drizzle on the icing because I thought it looked pretty, but you could definitely just dunk the donuts in the icing and have them fully glazed over. That would totally work well too. But this is the texture of the donut. This was literally straight after I had put the icing on there. So it was, the icing was still a little bit soft, but if you put this in the fridge for about an hour and then take it out, the icing hardens and it's so good. Like I think I prefer it eating it from the fridge. It tastes amazing. Anyway, this is the final product. We literally ate them within three hours. I had three, Christian had three. We had a great time. <laughs> um, yeah, definitely gonna be making this recipe again. And yeah, this recipe went down a treat and it was so, so tasty. So highly recommend. All right, there you go. I really hope you enjoyed this recipe video and let me know if you tried it out yourself. I would love to see your recreations. I also wanted to let you guys know on a little fun project I'm doing in the moment. Wait, I'll show you. Uh, I got a keyboard and it connects to my computer. I've just downloaded Ableton Live and I'm gonna try start making my own music, guys. So apologies, my camera died. But basically what I was saying was I recently, well, I literally just got it yesterday, this little keyboard, MIDI keyboard. So it's connected to my computer so I can start making music, but I have no idea how to use the software. So I'm currently doing some courses online. So I am getting started on that journey. I've always wanted to make music. If you know me personally um, from high school, I was actually music captain when I was in year 12 and I played the flute and I sang. I was in so many different bands, choirs, orchestras, all that jazz. Music was a massive part of my life from like the age of five till 18. Um, and then I also did do a diploma of music at university, um, but I've had a few breaks from music over the past few years and you know, I've been trying to pursue other things that I've been interested in, but I think I've finally come back to the realization that music is such a big passion of mine and something that I feel so happy when I'm doing. It brings me so much joy and I really just want to start creating music and be able to share that with other people and see how it goes. Like, I have no expectations now and like, if I'm going to be successful, like, I don't really care. I just honestly want to make music now and share it and see how it goes. Like, if it's successful, that's amazing. If it's not, well, then I've at least tried. Um, and yeah, so I'm really, really excited um, to start doing this. You're probably not going to see any music for a while. I'm sorry, because I literally just bought this and I have no idea how to use the software. Um, so I'm going to... Um, it's gonna be a big learning curve, um, but I'm really excited. I am just manifesting that I'm gonna release some music at some stage in the near future. And I'm so excited. So yeah, um, <laughs> stay along for the journey if you wanna hear more about my music um, and everything like that. But yeah, in the meantime, you'll get plenty of content of fitness, health, um, recipes, mindset, that I'm still super passionate about all that stuff. But music is also another big part of my life and hopefully I can share a bit of that with you here too at some stage. But <laughs> this video was about a protein donut recipe and I've showed you that. So we are done. I hope you have an amazing day and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.